Lately, we've been lucky to observe the arrival of multiple electric crossovers and SUVs which are destined to become our favorite family vehicles someday. However, some of the excellent EV newcomers within this segment are likely to remain on the conceptual stage forever. Today, we wanted to take a look at those latest models that we wish made it to the production lines. Time to hit the subscribe button and get technical. Kia is aiming at creating a whole new class of vehicles with the futuristic compact crossover labeled as the ECEV or Everything Car Electric Vehicle. The Habanero should feel comfortable on the narrow city streets and at the same time be able to drive off the pavement onto the remote trails with ease. Powered by two motors, it possesses all-wheel drive capability with the range of up to 300 miles. This thing is packed with yet unseen high-tech, like touchscreen with sensory light feedback, real-time emotion adaptive driving, and technical option sharing system that allows to customize the head-up display. It also features a perimeter ventilation system that quietly and evenly blows a curtain of air to create a perfect cabin environment. Nissan has been promising an electric SUV for quite a while now, so we can assume that the Aria concept previews an actual future vehicle from the brand. Of course, it is built on a fully electric platform with a floor-mounted battery and new E-Force dual-motor all-wheel drive system. The expected range reaches 300 miles while the power and torque of the drivetrain are not disclosed. The Aria also promises decent performance characteristics, accelerating to 60 in less than 5 seconds. On the outside, the model has evolved Nissan styling and LED lighting that incorporates the V-Motion grille pattern into the front shield. Concept vehicles often present automakers' vision of the future of transportation. It's always autonomous, electric, and in cases of the Renault, transformable. But over a dedicated CMF EV platform, the Morphos has expandable design that allows it to accommodate additional batteries and provide more comfort for the occupants during longer trips. The SUV has two configurations. The City offers a standard length of 173 inches and a 40 kilowatt hour battery, enabling the max power output of 136 horses and getting you 250 miles of range. Press one button and the Morphos elongates to 186 inches, and if you install another 50 kilowatt hour pack, produces 218 horsepower and covers 435 miles. Merging functionality of an SUV with styling of a dune buggy, the new MeTech is a PHEV-powered concept that is designed to deliver unparalleled driving confidence on any terrain. Instead of a traditional engine, the concept mates a small gas turbine mill that works as a generator to a battery and four electric motors. 
the latter power each wheel individually, giving the MeTech a four-wheel drive capability. Both front and rear motors are equipped with active yaw controls, allowing the car to perform 180-degree turns. The SUV's exterior presents a new take on Mitsubishi's dynamic shield design, while the cabin has a very minimalistic look, but comes equipped with the latest augmented reality windshield and a human-machine interface. While DS already has one fully electric and one PHEV model in its range, the arrival of the DS Aerosport Lounge signals that the company does not plan to curtail its EV ambitions. Though unlikely to ever go to production, the electric coupe SUV concept is tasked with showing off the brand's latest EV and tech advancements. The car uses a Formula E powertrain rated for 680 horses and mated to a large capacity 110 kilowatt hour battery with enough juice for more than 400 miles of travel. Its body has been designed to achieve optimal aerodynamics, contributing to the 0 to 60 acceleration time of 2.8 seconds. The concept also gets an AI assistant, while its infotainment can also be controlled using gestures. With a price tag around $10,000, Renault KZE is one of the cheapest electric cars of today. Unfortunately, though, it's sold exclusively in China. The European market is likely to be getting a rebadged version of this mini crossover in the form of the Dacia Spring. The electric CUV is capable of covering 124 miles in the WLTP cycle and recharges to 80% in 45 minutes. Its practicality is reflected in the raised 5.9 inches clearance and 10.6 cubic feet of cargo volume. The current looks of the spring are beyond orthodox if compared to other makes from the company, but hopefully they won't dial down on the design expressiveness since performance-wise, it's a very humble EV. Hyundai's first mass-produced car, Pony Liftback, celebrates its 45th anniversary this year, so the Korean company is commemorating the occasion with the futuristic electric crossover hatchback hybrid Hyundai 45. Its design was inspired by the 1920s aviation. This is a fully autonomous vehicle, so the front seats can swivel creating a living room-like environment for the occupants. Riding on the new eGMP skateboard platform, which is shared with the Kia Habanero, it can cover 300 miles on a charge. The interior combines wood and leather elements, while the centerpiece of the cabin is a gigantic screen integrated into the dashboard. The classification of automobiles is about to be expanded by another category labeled as a supercar-inspired electric SUV. This is exactly how creators from Human Horizons are describing their six-seater newcomer. 
The Chinese startup plans to start production in 2021 and makes a huge bet on the high-tech autonomy and connectivity of the vehicle. As stated, this EV is supposed to have the world's first 5G-ready vehicle to X communication system. Plus, its 562 sensors, in theory, can provide level 4 autonomous driving. The onboard AI makes sure that every passenger has personalized riding experience. And the front panel is a combination of touchscreen displays, which total to 50 inches. Thank you for visiting our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button and don't think twice about watching more episodes about electric vehicles. The links are waiting for you on the screen. See you later.